Meghan and Harry's inside life as suits start an unhappy senior royal family. Meghan, Duchess of Sussex is carving out a whole new life for herself and her family in California. Following her highly publicized exit from the royal family in early 2020, Meghan has been staying busy, welcoming a brand new baby girl as well as adding the title of best-selling author to her resume. Still, many fans of Meghan can't help but harken back to the early days. When she was first embarking on a whirlwind romance with Prince Harry, one of England's favorite members of the royal family. In July 2016, when Meghan first met Harry through a mutual friend, she was a hard-working Hollywood actor. Best known for her work in the TV series Suits. Meghan and Harry started dating immediately after they met. And by the end of 2016, rumors about their alleged romance had started to leak to the press. The two dated for a little more than a year before announcing their engagement in November 2017. As with most royal engagements, Meghan and Harry did it wait long to tie the knot. The couple got married in May 2018, in a grand ceremony that was televised to enthusiastic viewers all around the world. The wedding, a stunning affair with many Hollywood guests in attendance, was the start of Meghan's official life as a senior member of the royal family. She assumed her royal title at the time of the wedding, becoming the Duchess of Sussex. As it turns out, Meghan's time in the royal ranks will be very complicated. From the very beginning, Queen Elizabeth made it clear that she welcomed Meghan into the royal family. The two were spotted out on several solo engagements during Meghan's time as a senior royal. And they always seemed at ease. In recent months, Meghan confirmed. She has always had a good relationship with the Queen, telling Oprah Winfrey that the Queen has always been wonderful to her. Even before Harry married the American actor, the Queen proved that. She was in Meghan's corner by breaking several long-standing royal traditions for her. Including designing an exclusive coat of arms just for her and inviting her to the 2017 Christmas gathering that had previously been for royal family members only. At the time, Meghan and Harry were not yet married further proof that the Queen wanted to make Meghan feel welcome. Throughout her early years and her time in college, Meghan relied not only on her sense of self and personal responsibility to get through challenging times but on the unwavering support of her family as well. Meghan's mother, Doria Ragland, is a yoga instructor and former social worker who helped instill a love of charitable endeavors in her young daughter. Growing up, Meghan had a good relationship with her father as well as her mother. However, in recent years, Meghan and her father started to experience some problems, and these days, they are estranged. Meghan also has several half-siblings, Samantha Markell and Thomas Markell Jr. When Meghan married Harry in May 2018, her whole life changed both personally and professionally. Meghan had chosen to leave her acting career behind in order to focus on her new responsibilities as a royal. And while from the outside, the transition might have looked seamless, the new Duchess of Sussex had a hard time behind the scenes. Notably. Meghan struggled with bullying from certain British tabloids, as well as near-constant rumors of feuding and tension with other members of the royal family. Diana was also a paparazzi target, and often became a subject of tabloid headlines just like Meghan. Additionally, both Meghan and Diana share a devotion for charitable endeavors, and have consistently spoken out about various issues that matter to them. Although they couldn't be more different on the surface, with Meghan having grown up, as a California girl to divorced parents, the two share deep similarities in the way that they relate to people. Meghan might have started out strong in the royal family, accompanying Harry to many events and activities during her first few months as a married woman but as it turns out, she was struggling behind the scenes. During her March 2020 interview with Winfrey, the Duchess of Sussex revealed that she had a hard time with the negative way that British tabloids portrayed her and that she even had suicidal thoughts at one point. As Meghan stated, I just didn't want to be alive anymore. And that was a very clear and real and frightening constant thought. The pressure didn't let up after Meghan and Harry welcomed their son Archie in May 2019. The Duchess received even more negative press, with tabloids and critics claiming that she was shaking up the royal family by not allowing her infant son to be in the spotlight. The clock was ticking, and Meghan knew that something needed to change. In January 2020, 
Meghan and Harry dropped a bombshell, revealing that they would be stepping away from their status as senior members of the royal family. In a statement that they released on Instagram, the couple talked about their desire to be financially independent, working as free entities all while working toward their own goals of operating a new charity and pursuing new business interests. Rumors swirled regarding the royal family's reaction to the news but the senior royals remained mostly mum, with the Queen releasing a statement that Meghan and Harry remained much-loved members of her family. However, within the past few months, Meghan and Harry have come out strong, announcing a series of bold new projects, including a new limited series, a best-selling book, and a memoir. It seems as though the trials and tribulations that Meghan went through have all led to a fulfilled future in which she is able to work on what appeals to her, all while raising her family in peace. Thank you for watching. If you like our video, would you please help us like, share and subscribe our channel. Wish you happy to see our videos, thank you very much.